In this video, you're going to learn how you can create your first AI chatbot in C Sharp, and it can answer anything. The AI library we're going to use is Grok. Grok is a company that makes their own custom hardware that is made to run AI models, so the AI responses are really fast. In Visual Studio, first create a new console application and make sure that you have Newtonsoft installed in the NuGet package manager. Newtonsoft is a library that makes it easier to work with JSON text. Then create a new file called Grok API client and paste this code. Grok API client is a helper class to connect to Grok and send requests. Then you need to sign in to Grok's website and generate your free API key. In Visual Studio, you can go to your user secrets and paste in your API key. The user secrets file is stored outside of your project, so you do not accidentally share your private API key. In C Sharp, the first thing we're going to do is load in the API key from the user secrets and set it to the Grok client. Then we're gonna create a chat list, which is a list of all the messages. So when you type in the console, the messages gets added to that list. Then you will create a new function called generate AI response that takes in all chat messages and generates a response. The function is an async one, which means that the function can run in parallel on a separate thread, so it does not freeze our app. In our simple console case, it's fine that it freezes our app, but if you had a game, you do not want to freeze the game when waiting for a response. In the function, we first create a JArray, where we add our messages. Then we create a request object, where we fill in the AI model name we're going to use, and then the array of all the messages. They might remove the specific model name that I'm using, so it might not work for you. So you can go into Grok's documentation, then models, and see which models are available. Some differences between the models can be how smart they are, and then what speed they generate the answers. Then in our main file, we create an infinite while loop, where we get the text the user has typed after he presses enter. And then we add that text to the chat history. Then we get the AI response. The response holds some extra data, like how long it took to receive the request, but we are just interested in the answer, so we get the answer like this. Then we change the text color to cyan to make it easier to see which text is the AI text. And then we change back the color to white for the user. And in the end, we add the message to the chat list. The chat list purpose is to give the AI some memory so he can look back at the previous messages. The longer he's able to look back, the slower the response is going to be. So we will add this code that only keeps the last 8 messages and deletes the messages that are older. And now let's run it. All code is available in the description.